Welcome everyone. This is a tutorial on how to set up and port forward a Minecraft server on a Mac. So without any further ado, let's begin. First thing you'll need to do is make a new folder where you want your server to be located. This is where you will change any options and start your server. So go ahead, I'll make mine on my desktop, command shift in, and I'll name it Minecraft server. You can make, you can name it whatever you want. Next thing you'll need to do is open up your web browser, I'm using Google Chrome, and go to minecraft.net, click the download button, scroll down to the bottom, and click on minecraftserver.jar, not exe. Save it, and drag it into your server folder. Open up the folder, double click it, open, and let it fully prepare your world. And once that finishes loading, you can type stop in the text field at the bottom and hit return. And you have successfully set up your Minecraft server. But right now there are two problems. One is that your friends can't play with you unless they're in your home network and even if they could it would be very slow because right now your server is not allocated very much memory so we can fix both those problems first one by port forwarding and the second by running your server using a special command uh, the location of this is back at minecraft.net slash download dot jsp very bottom line I've highlighted here um, we need to run our server with this, and to do that, we open up Terminal. Um, that's in Applications, Utilities, Terminal. Type in CD space, and then drag the little folder icon right next to Minecraft Server, this is your server folder, into the Terminal window that types in the directory automatically. Hit Return then you can copy and paste this line into terminal and it will run your server with more allocated memory but that's a lot of trouble just to start your server isn't it well we can make it a lot easier and to do that we're going to make a command file which you will just double click and it will run your server with more memory to do that we will open up text edit um, when you open it it'll probably look like this with all of this stuff at the top we can't have that it will not work to get rid of it um, do format and then make plain text or you can do shift command T that will change it to plain text instead of rich text now what you'll type in is hash bang which is number sign exclamation point slash bin slash bash next line you can type cd space then drag this folder in now if your directory that's this part beginning with the first slash if the first slash to the end has any space then right before the space you need to have a backward slash that's the slash above return that is vitally important so any spaces right before them have a slash I'll leave the space in there as well hit return copy and paste this in and that's it you've made your command file hit command s to save name it anything you want dot command you can um, uncheck this hit save you can hide the extension if you want hit save and you have this lovely command file um, but when we try to double click that we get this error message we do not have access privileges. Well, that's fine. We can fix that. Open open terminal. 
you can type in um, chmod space 7, okay, that's chmod space 755 space, then you can drag this file into it, that'll type it in there automatically, and hit return. Okay, that's it. CHMOD 755, and drag this in. Hit return, and you can quit terminal, and hopefully when we double click this, it will start our server with 1024 bits of RAM or something like that. Um, type in stop. Now we have a nice little file we can double click and start our server. Now we get to port forward. This is the part where most of you will have trouble probably. So open up your web browser. Well I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, close your web browser. We need to find out a few bits of information before we do this. And we can get this information from your network properties. We can get this by clicking the airport icon, choosing network preferences, or opening system preferences and choosing network. Alright, once you have this window open, choose whichever of these is green whichever of them is green and you're connected to mine's airport I'm a MacBook Pro and choose advanced move over to TCP IP and we will need our IPv IPv4 address and our router address this is also known as a default gateway once we have those both written down we can hit OK quit system preferences and now open our web browser and this is where you will probably have problems um, in your address bar Type in the router address, hit return, and it will ask you for a lovely username and password. If you don't know this, then you're in a little bit of trouble. You can open a new tab or a new window, go to portforward.com and go to where is it default router username and passwords under other guides you can choose your routers manufacturer I'll have the link in the description by the way to right here um, choose your routers manufacturer um, I'll just choose a random one and then they have all their models and default username and passwords of course if you've changed the username and password it will not work. Type in your username and password. Log in. And come over here to Applications and Gaming. You should have something that looks just like this if you have Linksys, but similar if you have another kind of router, hopefully. This Applications and Gaming could also be port forwarding or gaming or anything along those lines. Um, make sure you're single port forwarding. You should be by default. Um, and right here under application name type in anything you want. doesn't matter. I'll type in mcraft because minecraft doesn't fit in mine. For the internal and external internal port type 25565. That's the default. You'll only really want to change that if you want to have multiple servers hosted from the same network. And I'll explain how to do that in the description. 25565 is the default. Both TCP and UDP. And then in the IP address, you're going to type in your IPv4 address. Mine is .100. 
So I put in dot 100. And make sure you check enable, and then hit save settings. Once you've saved those settings, congratulations. You have port forwarded your lovely, beautiful Minecraft server so that all of your friends can play on it. But there's one final thing. Of course, you need to know what IP address your friends need to type in to enter your server. To find that out, we'll open up our web browser, type in what's my IP.com, return. Hold on. What is my IP.com? I'm sorry, what is my IP.com? And right here, my IP address is this. It is censored out for you, so no one can join my server, but it's right here. Right under this. And this is what your friends will type in to join your Minecraft server once it's port forwarded. And if it's running. So, that's it. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. I'll probably do a redstone tutorial. And probably a tutorial on how to make the secret door from the 1.7 preview video. So look out for those. I already have the video of me, time lapse of me making it up on my channel. But I'll probably have a tutorial. So look out for those. And as always, I guess I will see you next time.